I'm going to walk you through step by step how to create a YouTube short from within the YouTube app. So let's get right into it. So if you want to just open up the YouTube app like so, then click on the plus at the bottom, then click on create a short. If you have already created the video, you can just click right here and upload the video if you record it and edit it elsewhere. But we're going to do everything from within the app. So to get started, one of the first things I want to point out is the 15 second or 60 second options along the top right hand side here. Also along the top, you can add a sound if you'd like. So you can see recommended feature. There's a bunch of options here. We're not going to do that yet. You can also add it later on and I'll show you that too. Then here we can just start recording, hit record, talk as long as you want. You can see along the top how much time we've used and how much we have left. Stop. Okay. So that's how much we've used. If we want the little circles are to just turn the camera around, then there are some effects below the effects. If you want to either do slow motion or time lapse, you can go 3x speed or 0.3x. We're not going to do either of those. We're just going to go with normal speed today. Then the next thing below that is the timer. So there's a couple things happening here. One, how much time do you need to get started? And then how much do you want to record right now? So you can see the red is how much we've recorded. Maybe you want just a couple of extra seconds right now. So three second timer, record this much. And we want to maybe record from over here. So we can do that and then hit start three, two, one. And so it's going to record and you'll see right at that other line stopped again. So now we have two clips recorded for our YouTube short. One of the other things that we can do is if we want to add a green screen, we can do that like so. And you can see down along the bottom, it'll pull up some of your images. So this is an image from outside. If I wanted that behind me, could totally do that or just get rid of it. Done. So the next option down below, if we click right here, this is retouch. So kind of a beauty mode. Maybe your skin is a little bit smoother with it on. So here is on. Here is off. So maybe I look a little bit younger if we turn it on. Then if we click on show more, there's a few other things. So we have filters. So these are essentially different color profiles. If you want to record in black and white, you could totally do that. Again, we're just going to turn the filters off and going down further. The next thing you may want to consider. So if you're recording several different clips and you were changing your clothes, changing your location, what you can do with the align feature is it's essentially going to pull up the last clip. So what I would want to do is I'm just looking at mainly my glasses, maybe my hair so that there's not a huge jump from one clip to the next, at least as far as I'm concerned, you're going to see the backgrounds different because the camera's a different place. But I think that's pretty close right there. So we could record a little bit more and stop. Okay, so we have three different clips. If we open this back up again, the one thing I'm really not sure about, I tried to figure this out, was the lighting. So I've been playing around with this. I think we need to kind of turn some of these other things off. So let's turn the line off. The only thing with lighting, I don't know if clicking in certain places is going to adjust the basically the exposure of the video. So that not 100% sure what it does, but it's not important for creating your YouTube short. So let's move on. The next feature is trim. So trim, what you're going to see here, this along the top is the entire video. And then you see the three separate clips down below and it's showing you which one is being shown at the given time. If you want to go and edit any of them as far as the start point or end point, you can just change them like so click on done then go to the next one do the same thing then the last clip okay so we made some adjustments to it if you're happy with that click on done and if we're good to go click on the check mark so here as i promised before you can add sounds at this point as well one thing to keep in mind you can only at this point use 15 seconds of a particular sound. So you need to use them for shorter videos or it's just going to be at the beginning of your video. If you want to use one of their sounds. So this song, for example, I have the volume turned all the way down right now. So we don't have any issues with monetization with this video. And then the next thing you're going to see is adjustment. So with the song, you can choose exactly which part of the song you want to use, but you can see it's always going to be this fixed amount done. Also, if I want to add a voiceover, so I could click here and then I can record for a couple of seconds as a voiceover, 
like that. If I was good, click on X. And then you have the volume. So volume is going to be important because right now there's three different audios. There's my voice in the videos that we recorded. There's the voiceover I just recorded and there's music. So you want to make sure that all the levels are appropriate and you're going to adjust them throughout the video. So if you were adding a voiceover, probably shouldn't be at a time when you're also talking, but here's essentially what that looks like. So you have a hundred percent volume for each one of them. So if I'm talking in the video, you want to make sure that you can actually hear me. So I would play around with this to get it to a point where you can hear the music and hear yourself speak in the video as well. And then if we were good with that, we'll close that out. Are you just getting started on YouTube? We have a YouTube course for beginners that'll walk you through step-by-step -step creating your channel, what to make videos about, creating your videos, starting to run YouTube. There's even a module about YouTube shorts. There's live sessions. We're here to answer all your questions so you can start growing on the platform. Also, we're in the process of creating a course on vertical videos, so YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, and TikTok. If you wanna learn more about either of the two courses, check out the links in the description below. The next piece is the text. So a text, we can just say, text one, and then there's a bunch of options here. So we can change the alignment. So right, left, right, center. We can change if it's the color is the background, if it's slightly shaded, if there is no background, etc. We can change the different font types like so. We can change the colors if we're good with that. Let's click on done. So we have text one and then we can just touch it and move it somewhere if we want as well. If we're in the text part and we click again, we're going to have more text. So we say text two and then it's going to keep the same formatting. So let's just put that there. We click here again, text three and then click off. So we have three different texts right now. So the very next step with these three texts is we probably don't want all three of them showing up for the entire video. So if we scroll over, here is the timeline. So what you're going to see now are the three texts. And what you can do is just grab either side of them and choose where you want the text to start and stop for each one. So something like that. Again, if you want something more exact, I recommend watching our next video, which will show you how we actually record, edit, and publish YouTube shorts, TikTok videos, and Instagram reels. This isn't the most exact science and you may get a little bit frustrated trying to do everything here and getting it exactly how you like but if that were good it's going to look something like as you see on screen right now and again you have the option for adding kind of the color profiles or filters at the end of the short creation process as well. Click on done. And if you're happy with how that turned out and you're ready to publish then click on next. And here you're gonna have a couple of different options. So right now it's at the private, so nobody's gonna be able to see it unless you share access to this specific video. There are a few other options. So unlisted, you could share the link with friends or colleagues, have them view it before you make it public or make it public. And then down below that you see scheduling. So if I want to schedule it on Wednesday, September 28th, I could say, okay. And then it's gonna let me choose the time. So let's say 3 p.m and go back and upload. That's how easy it is to record, edit, and publish a YouTube short from within the YouTube app. If you wanna see how we create our vertical videos for YouTube shorts, TikTok, and Instagram Reels, check out the video up above. And if you wanna learn about the new monetization for YouTube shorts, check out the video below. Hope to see you in a future video. Bye-bye.